guys welcome to another episode of Dragon Family this is study time with Falak and today we are going to continue through the looking glass by Lewis Carroll so now we are currently doing chapter 7 the lion and the unicorn in this chapter we see that when Alice was in the woods shouting about how she was unsatisfied with Humpty Dumpty she encountered the number of soldiers they came running through the woods at first in twos and threes then ten or twenty together and at last in such crowds that they seemed to fill the whole forest Alice got behind a tree for fear of being run over and watched them go by all her life she had never seen soldiers so uncertain on their feet they were always tripping over something or other and whenever they went down several more always fell over him so that the ground was soon covered with little heaps of men then came the horses having fought field these creatures managed rather better than the two foot soldiers but even they stumbled now and then and it seemed to be a regular rule that whenever a horse stumbled the rider fell off instantly the confusion got even worse every moment and Alice got out of the wood into an open space where she find out the white king seated on the ground busily writing in his memorandum book seeing Alice he asks her if she had seen soldiers on her way here and tells her that he has sent 4207 except two horses who were required for the game and his two messengers who were running around in town now if you remember this is the same white king whom alice helped to climb the uh, climb above the table this white king was very scared like hell out of scare because alice nearly dropped him so um yeah furthermore as they were talking alice spotted the messenger signaling from afar he was coming very slow for the messenger kept signaling sorry kept skipping up and down and wiggling like an eel as he came along with his great hands spread out like fans on each side the king tells Alice that this messenger's name is Hega and he is an Anglo-Saxon. He also told her that those are Anglo-Saxon habits which he was doing like wriggling and clapping his hands and etc. And only does that when he is happy. The king also tells Alice that he has got two messengers to come and go like one messenger comes and the other one goes so this is how the two messengers comes and goes at this moment Hega arrives out of bed to talk and the king asks for a ham sandwich for from him which the king enjoys and then asks for another but unfortunately there wasn't any more so he asks for hay this time now if we if I remember it quite well the white king was actually a chess piece. How come he is eating ham sandwiches and then hay? It's a good question actually. As the king was eating his hay, he stretched his hand towards Hagar for more and asked him if he passed anyone on the road to which he replies nobody. Yeah, that is just ridiculous. You see, white king is a chess piece he is enjoying his ham sandwich and then when he has got nothing he asks for hay and he is enjoying it as well what kind of chess piece eats ham sandwich and hay tell me in the comment section down below continuing the king then asks him what happened in town the messenger said he would whisper and put his hands to his mouth in the shape of a trumpet and stood so as to get close to the king's ear 
Alice was sorry for this as she wanted to hear the news too. However, instead of whispering, he simply shouted at the top of his voice, They are at it again! Sorry. The king then explains Alice that it is the lion and the unicorn who are fighting in the town for the crown. As they went to watch their fight, Alice remembers an old song in which the lion and unicorn fight for the crown and they stop for eating bread and cake and then they were drummed out of town. As they came to town, they met Hatter, the other messenger, who was standing watching the fight with a cup of tea in one hand and a piece of bread and butter in the other. He tells the king about the situation of the fight so far. Alice thought to herself that it was time to bring the white bread and the brown. Now there was a pause in the fight just then. The lion and the king sat down panting because they were exhausted. And the king called out, 10 minutes allowed for refreshments. Hega and Hatta set to work at once, carrying rough, rough trays of white and brown bread. Alice took a piece to taste, but it was very dry. The king, predicting that they won't fight anymore, today told Hatta to go and order the drums to surely to drum them out. For a minute or two, Alice stood silent, but then she spotted the white queen running very fast from the woods. The king remarked that there must be some enemies near by chasing her as the woods were full of them. But then he assures Alice that the white queen is a very fast creature and it would be waste to chase after her. To this Alice also thinks like, yeah, they are hella fast. At that time, the unicorn came to talk to the king when he noticed Alice. He looked at her for quite a while with disgust as the unicorn thought Alice was some kind of monster. Then at last asked about her and Hager explains to him in his Anglo-Saxon attitude about Alice. The unicorn, who wasn't ready to believe that Alice was a human, set a bargain with her that both of them will believe each other and calls for the plum cake. And Hager pulled a large cake out of his bag and gave it to Alice to hold while he got out a dish and carving knife. The lion had joined them while this was going on. He looked very tired and sleepy and his eyes were half shut. He also asked Alice what she was to which the unicorn replied that she was a fabulous monster. The lion also asks for the cake and sits down insisting the king and the unicorn to do the same. As Alice was trying to cut the slices of the cake, she noticed that no matter how many slices she cut, the pieces always joined together. Now this was some magical cake. I would like to eat this very much. You know why? Because once I eat this cake, it will reappear again. And then I can have it again and then again and then again. And then I'll have some bad cavity as well. Yeah. The unicorn explains that Alice must pass the cake around first and cut afterwards. Now, if you don't understand what it means, it's just like the game of passing the parcel where you pass something like a pillow or some object to one another when a song plays. Just like this, Alice had to pass it to the unicorn, the unicorn to the king, king to the lion and so on. And this is how the cake cut it itself. Alice begins passing the cake and it splits into three pieces, leaving her with nothing to cut. As the lion asks her if she enjoys plum cake, the drums begin. Where the noise came from, she couldn't make out. The air seemed full of it and it rang through and through her head till she felt quite deafened. She started to her feet 
and sprang across the little brook in her terror and had just time to see the lion and the unicorn rise to their feet with angry looks at being interrupted in their feast before she dropped on her knees and put her hands over her ears vainly trying to shut out the dreadful uproar if that doesn't drum them out of town she thought to herself nothing ever will yay and with that we just completed our chapter 7 of through the looking glass i hope you all enjoyed it and liked it and understood it as well yeah i think i explained it quite well i'm not proud of myself haha ha. just kidding if you got any problem if you want to ask any questions related to this chapter please do so in the comment section down below i'll be sure to give you answers accordingly thanks for watching and please do support us you guys don't really watch things you don't guys like um, don't you like these things stories novels etc and if you don't like these things you must be a gamer so just go on hamza games a lot of uh, plays a lot of games right now he's playing wahala which is a very popular game according to me yes it is a very popular game and if you don't like games as well you should watch our vlogs now that's all for today thanks for watching please do like share subscribe comment in the comment section down below and that's for it for today thank you time out